Hey there, everybody. Um, I haven't recorded a video in a while, and I think I'd like to start uh, getting back to doing videos regularly. So this video, I'm going to uh, review the Apple TV, and I'm going to take a look at some features on it, as well as the accessibility features for people who are not able to see the Apple TV or hear it. Um, people who are blind or deaf. So uh, right now let's start looking at the device and then I'll turn it on, power it up for you and, and show you how it works. So here we've got the Apple TV. It's, uh, it's a little box similar to the Roku um, and other boxes like that. So out of one, out of the box, back of the box, there's two wires. There's an HDMI cord, which goes from the box into the back of my TV. And then there's a power cord, which goes to the wall outlet. And then below the HDMI cord, there is a little cord for an HDMI, I believe it is HDMI mini, or I'm sorry, a USB mini. And that is used for plugging into a computer if you have to use the computer to reset the device. I've only had to do that once. You normally don't need to do that unless it won't do anything. Um, so with the description of the box, let me move over to my couch and, and power up my Apple TV. So let's take a look at the remote here. We've got a small handheld remote. Uh, and at the top of this remote, there is a trackpad. So you can swipe the trackpad, uh, swipe it left, right, up and down to move to different items on the TV. And you can also press it, the pad in like a button for the similar to an OK button. And then below the trackpad, we've got simply two columns of buttons. We've got uh, on the left column, we've got, we've got the back button or menu. And then we have below that the Siri button, which you hold to speak. And then we have, uh, that is a slightly concave button you hold it in and then we've got below that the play pause button the right column on the top we have a home button and then below that an elongated button which i thought was for the volume control but i'm not sure because it doesn't do anything on my tv so um <clears throat> let me power on this tv by pressing the home button so it takes a few seconds to power up. And as you can see there, we have the Apple TV. And right now um, I have a screen reader on my Apple TV. That's the main accessibility feature that I wanna show today. So uh, a screen reader is a program that lets blind People interact with the screen, lets them do what they need to do on it, watch videos, uh, listen to music, etc. And it's just a program that it's called VoiceOver. And all Apple devices have this program installed. So whether it be computers, iPhones, uh, Apple TVs, anything, they all have that. So let me go over the home screen here. Okay. Um, and so I slowed the speech way down so that you could, so that, that the average person can hear it um, and understand it. Music. So TV. on the top row, we've got the TV, TV. app. Row one. Call in one. Top shelf content available. And you hear it say TV, uh, the app name, and then it tells you 
row one, column one, that simply <coughs> is telling the person row two, column one. that um, how many columns there on are on the screen and how the screen is laid out. So then we, we swipe after TV, we go to movies. TV shows, movies. What? TV. Music. Uh, one, to the right of TV, two, we've got music, arcade, and then your one, arcade, which three, shelf uh, you can download different games from that, app store, and then the one, app store, one, which three, has like live TV, like Hulu, it's got games, it's got Netflix, anything you would want. Um, and when it says top shelf content available, that means you can swipe up. Hulu. One and six, get to your Disney most Plus, Hulu, used Plus, apps. HBO Max, four of six, TV, one, so mute, arcade, apps to, podcasts, then we have podcasts. One, you can listen to your pod, podcasts no on your TV. Content. And then below podcasts, Prime Video, row two, we have my five. Prime Video app. Search, row two, you can, four. you can search the TV for applications. Photos, row two, column three. View your pictures on here. TV shows, row two, <coughs> column two. Movies, row two, column one. Computers, row three, okay. column one. Settings, row three. Hulu, row Netflix, live stream. NBC Sports. Row and four, that's where you can watch three. racing and golf and things on NBC Sports. BRB. Recently updated. VRV four, is a streaming three. application TV, for TV. Four, Pure Flix is a Christian. It pronounces it purely because it's spelled with an X at the end. But Pure Flix, Plur, Pure Flix is a Christian entertainment um, application for streaming movies and videos and such. Computers. So. Wrote settings. I'm going to go, settings. we're going to go Road into three, settings three. and take a look General. at what that has to General. offer. One of ten. <clears throat> First, we have general, users and accounts. then we have Button. users Video and accounts, video and audio, accessibility, six of ten, apps, button. Network button, eight system button, sleep now, 10 of 10. Okay, and again, like with our home screen, it voiceover tells you how many columns and rows it has. Uh, this tells you how many items the screen has. So, for example, you hear system button, nine of 10. System, and you hear that it's button and the ninth out of 10 buttons. Network, apps, so let access, me go to the video, top. General, button, we have general, ten, about, and then button, you, six. you press a, the about button, you can get your model number, serial number, um, everything like that, your version number. Screen saver, aerial, and you button, can change your screen six. saver. Appearance, light. Sleep after 15 minutes, four of six. So mine automatic, my TV automatically goes to sleep if you don't use it, which is basically, it's the same thing as shutting it off. Restrictions, off, button, five of six. If you have kids, you can restrict apps and things. Privacy, button, That you don't want them six. having. And then there's privacy. Siri, Siri, on, uh, one Siri. of five. language. English, U.S. And two this is the language for uh, that information. Apple Such TV. Siri history. Button. Use with Ask mm. Siri. About Ask Siri. Keyboard and dictation. Previously used e dictation. Language and region. Region. Usage. Background and there's all that stuff in there. Anyway, so. With Siri history. Siri. Siri, two, button, yeah, six of six, general, and so button, we go back by ten. pressing menu, and then users we've and got account. users and accounts. Video and audio, video and audio. And home, I'm gonna go into devices, remotes button, and devices. Remote, touch surface tracking, <coughs> zero, one of three. And this is where you can control uh, how sensitive your trackpad is. 
Home button. Home screen. Two of three. And this controls what the home press button the home does. Button wants to go to the home screen. So if you press the home button, you can control it. Um, it right now mine is set to home screen. That means if I press home, it goes to the home screen. You can also have it if I press the OK button. Apple TV app. It switches. When you press the home button on your remote. It will now take you straight to up next in the Apple TV app. To go to the home screen, press the home button again or press and hold menu. Okay. So it tells you that when I switched it to the Apple TV app, uh, pressing the home button will go there. And if I press and hold or press it twice, it goes actually to home. Home let me, screen. Let me switch it. Remote. Then 66% battery level button. Then Real that battery. remote button tells us how, uh, what the battery life is, what the battery charge is of the, of the remote. To charge the remote, uh, you don't need to do it too often. It's got a really long battery life. Um, but on the bottom of the remote, um, below all the buttons, on the, I guess I'll call it on the tail end of the remote. I don't know how else to describe that. There is a mini USB, like a lightning cable. So you can use your phone charger, if you have an iPhone, to actually power your remote, Apple TV remote. Um, let's go into battery. Serial number, c 8 gqqt one of three. Device information. Firmware version. So if we go so into battery, it, 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 it or if we go remote, into remote, it shows us the serial number of the battery and every, of the remote and everything. Other devices. Uh, so Bluetooth. here's where you can control Bluetooth and learn the remote and all that. So under remotes and devices, we have accessibility. Voiceover. On. That's button. where under on the vision set. heading we have voiceover and you can switch it on or there's a shortcut to access voiceover. voiceover. On. Uh, on so voiceover help button. You can get Navigation help for style. voiceover. Follow focus. One of one. Verbosity button. Change speech. its speech. Pronunciations. Speech Pronunciation, rate. speech Use rate. Skills. All um, that. Four four. So you can basically customize Vision. voiceover. voiceover. Um, and um, then there's um, also um, under voiceover. Zoom. Um, there's also um, zoom for zoom people seven. who can Google see the touch three print to zoom in and out. on with the screen. Slide with display accommodations. Button. Bold text. <clears throat> and then increase contrast. Motion. Button. Audio descriptions. Off. Seven of seven, motor, switch control, off, We have button, AD, your audio description, which I forgot was in here. Vision, motor, switch control, hearing, mono audio. And we've off, also got accommodations for people who are hard of hearing or deaf. So Balance, uh, we've got center, that. Subtitles and captioning, button, three of so, three, accessibility. Then button, there apps, is... Button, network. System. Network is Network. where you set up your system. internet. Sleep now. In system, you system. can uh, check for updates and also reset and restart your computer, your Apple TV if need be. Sleep now. There's an option. The last option in the settings is sleep now, which will automatically put your Apple TV in uh, to sleep or settings. turn it off. Column two, Hulu. Netflix. And NBC basically, so let me, um, to put your Apple TV to sleep, you would press and hold the home button. Sleep button. One and four. you have now playing. to put sleep. it to sleep. And to go to sleep, you just press in on the trackpad, which is the OK button. And to wake it back up, I'm going to press home. And let me show you next our Prime Video app, which uh, is, well, self-voicing. So usually people uh, who are blind have 
voiceover at a higher rate of speed uh, because they can understand it and, you know, it lets them navigate it fast, faster. But there are certain apps that are self-voicing. Prime Video is one of them. So if you, pr if you go into Prime Video, your speech, no matter how fast you have it set to, it's automatically going to slow down. You're not able to control the speech. Or you, you can't, there's no interruptibility on the speech either. Uh, so, there's that. that app. And then I'll press the home button to return to the main screen. Uh, that's all about the Apple TV and voiceover. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.